Hey everybody, Rich here with another retro video, and oh my god, I'm in Windows 3.11 for work groups. Good gravy. Anyway. Okay, so if you have an old vintage computer clunking around, whether it's Windows 3.1, like this one, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows NT, 4.0 workstation, or server, Windows 2000, or even an old Windows XP computer, you want to put it to good use, obviously, and maybe you want to set it up as a what we call a conversation piece, where you put it on display, either in uh, in the living room or even in the room where you sleep or wherever. But you got to have the computer actually doing something, and for that, you really don't have that much choice other than a screensaver. Screensavers are boring. You want to show some actual activity. Well, the best way to do that is with IRC of course. And as long as you connect to a channel that has constant activity, it's a good thing to use as a pseudo screensaver, right? Well, before we get into that, the only thing you have to do is just go into the control panel and just make sure the screensaver is set to none. This is true whether it's 3.1 like you see here, 9598, NT, XP2000, whatever. You don't want the screensaver kicking in, so we have that set to none. Uh, the only thing you would want to do in uh, 98, uh, excuse me, 95 to present is on the screensaver portion of the control panel. There's a button called Power, where you can set the monitor to shut itself off after X amount of time. So maybe you want the monitor to kick off after, say, an hour, maybe two, maybe three, or maybe never. It, it depends on how you want to go about it. So anyway, with that said. Here is Merck. This is Merck 5.9, very old. It is the last version that runs in Windows 3.1. And uh, you can get an old version. Now, if I was using 95 or up, I would be using Merck 616 or higher. You can get that version by going to oldversion.com or oldapps.com, and you can just download and install it, and it's just like this. Now, I'm going to assume for the moment you know how to use IRC. If you've been around the Internet long enough, you should know how to do it by now. So if you don't, please feel free to leave a comment and say, no, I don't know how to use IRC. Please give me a tutorial. Well, if you need one, ask. Okay, that being said. This is freenode.net, as in irc.freenode.net. This is the Ubuntu channel. Now, the reason I picked it is, as you can see in the title bar area, there are almost 1,500 users in here. This channel always has activity going on. And the cool part about it is that if you just leave it sit, you'll see the text, you know, as people are chatting, move. And, uh, you know, it's not like a constant stream or whatever. It Sometimes it pauses like it's doing now. But anyway, the point is is that you will see activity. Now, the only thing we have to do from this point is just set it to a dark theme because sometimes if you want to leave the computer on at night, if it's all white like this, it looks the, the monitor will look like a light bulb, especially if it's a CRT. Uh, as in a tube-type monitor, yeah, you want to have this as a dark theme. So the uh, way to do that in this version, it's tools and then colors. Now in other versions, it's view and then colors. So it depends what this is an old, old version. So it's under the tools menu, but under uh, version 616 and 95, the present, it would be under view and then colors anyway. So go to colors. Now, if you're using 616, you actually have the choice of uh, color themes, not in this version because it's just so damn old. So I'm going to have to edit this manually. So uh, right now, what I'm going to do is just set the background color to black. Action as gray. CTCP is gray. Highlight. Uh, make that a green. Info as cyan. Info. Yeah, we want these. The info ones is darker, for sure. So I'm just doing some quick modifications here. Normal text. Uh, yeah, we'll have it as white. Notice text as a brighter red. Notify. Yeah, we'll leave that as is. Other text, dark. Own text. Actually, own text will have that. 
yeah we want that to really be uh I will do is that when you type this that's so what you type shows up brighter than the rest anyway okay part text will darken that one out quit darken that topic and we'll make that one bright wallops dark who is dark okay list box I think this is background yeah black list box text make that dark grade text also dark edit box okay make that black add a box text like that bright so we can see it and hit OK and everything should work and it did okay cool actually no I will change that slightly more make the edit box itself gray so I can actually see it <laughs> better and oh I don't know no that's sucky oh. yeah that'll work okay so now when I type down here yeah, I can see what I'm doing better. And finally, make the font bigger so it can be seen from a distance. Because if this is going to be a display computer, right, you want this to be uh, something seen from a distance here. Uh, so we have to pick a... Not a lot of choice in Windows 3.1. <laughs> Although I did install Office 4.3, which gave me some more stuff. But anyway, so we'll pick something appropriate. Yeah, we'll just do Courier New, and I'll make that 14. Try 8 now. Let's try this one. Okay, that's not bad. You got to remember that we'll be seeing this. Uh, imagine seeing it from a distance. Uh, mess around with this just a little more. Oh, I could do... Oh, that's right. I could do uh, 18 size fixed sys. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so... Although this is huge, from a distance it actually looks better. Now, the cool part about this is that I just leave it at this point. I'm done. That's awesome. And then it's something where it can be set up as a display computer. It shows actual activity that is live and in real time in a real IRC channel. And if someone came up... Uh, friend, family member, whatever, and said, hey, can I sit down and use this and chat in that channel? Sure. Sit down and go right ahead. And off you go. So, it does make the computer, as a display item, usable. <laughs> and interesting. That's the whole point. Because if you see a bunch of text going across the screen, someone walks by and say, oh, what's going on here? So they can actually look in uh, look on the monitor and say, oh, okay, cool, hey, can I sit down and try this out? Sure. And they can use your vintage computer however they want and so on. You get the idea. It's better than a screensaver <laughs> if you have IRC. So it's just an idea. It's a simple one. You can have it set up in minutes. Just choose your font, choose your colors, and you're done.